morning. It's Monday, June 21st, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion comes from Acts chapter 27, Paul's journal about being a prisoner. When a light wind began blowing from the south, the sailors thought they could make it, so they pulled up anchor and sailed close to the shore of Crete. But the weather changed abruptly, and a wind of typhoon strength called a northeaster burst across the island and blew us out to sea. The sailors couldn't turn the ship into the wind, so they gave up and let it run before the gale. We sailed along the sheltered side of a small island named Cauda, where, with great difficulty, we hoisted aboard the lifeboat being towed behind us. Then the sailors bound ropes around the hull of the ship to strengthen it. They were afraid of being driven across to the sandbars of Sirtis off the African coast, so they lowered the sea anchor to slow the ship and were driven before the wind. The next day, as gale-force winds continued to batter the ship, the crew began throwing the cargo overboard. The following day, they even took some of the ship's gear and threw it overboard. The terrible storm raged for many days, blotting out the sun and the stars, until at last all hope was gone. No one had eaten for a long time. Finally, Paul called the crew together and said, Men, you should have listened to me in the first place and not left Crete. You would have avoided all this damage and loss. But take courage. None of you will lose your lives, even though the ship will go down. For last night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood beside me and said, Don't be afraid, Paul, for you will surely stand trial before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God. It will be just as he said, but we will be shipwrecked on an island. The sailors had both good news and bad from Paul. They were going to lose the cargo and ship. That wasn't the good news. But they were going to live past this storm. For Paul, he would also survive the day, only to stand trial before Caesar. The mounting tension in this account was powerful. The sailors tried to outwit the coming storm, and when they couldn't, their only hope was damage control. They tried to minimize loss to the cargo, the ship, and then finally they pulled out every stop just to survive, being shark food. In the midst of the raging storm, when it was pitching a no-hitter against the ship and its occupants, dashing any hope of success or even survival, Paul, a prisoner, stands and says, Chill out, guys. Your cargo and ship are history, but nobody dies today. For the sailors, that wasn't the best news. It meant they would go home to their families and the ship's owners with nothing to show for months of hard work. But... It was still good news. To live through the storm meant all hope wasn't gone. To live through the storm meant another chance to redeem their losses. To live through the storm was to breathe. The news for Paul was also of the good and bad sort. He also was going to live, but Paul's chance at tomorrow included standing before Caesar, the madman despot who had the power to take Paul's head from his shoulders. But it was also hope, nonetheless, for Paul, gain for Christ's coming kingdom was life. A few times in my life, I've faced odds that seemed too great to last through it. On the other side of those odds, I'm still breathing and sometimes wonder how in the world God pulled that off. The greater wonder for me is why God pulled that off. I'm no more deserving than anyone. The answers to both questions, the how and the why, have to do with God's choices and no human beings come close to that pay grade. But the possibilities are just as real to me as it was to those sailors and Paul. When God gives you either a second chance or a brief respite in the storm, it's time to redeem the time. It's time to do those things for God's sake which you've put off. It's not time to sit back and grin over your narrow escape. It's time to press on and make it count. For you today, 
Making it count can only be done in a godly way when you take seriously Paul's advice to the sailors. You've been lifted from the frying pan. You're going to live through the fire. So fear not. He's not done with you yet. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.